Today we're going to learn about arithmetic sequence. We are going to find the indicated nth term given an arithmetic sequence. Each term in an arithmetic sequence is the sum of the previous term and the common difference. This gives us the recursive rule that can develop an explicit rule for an arithmetic sequence. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And a sub n here is the nth term of the sequence, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and d is the common difference. Here are the five examples. Find the indicated term of each arithmetic sequence. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Given the arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, find the 50th term. In finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, we will be using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. From the given sequence, our first term is 3, second term is 5, third term is 7, and fourth term is 9. The value of d or the common difference is 2, and this can be obtained by subtracting second term minus first term, that's 5 minus 3, which is 2, or you can do 7 minus 5 or 9 minus 7. So all of this will give us a common difference of 2. So the common difference here is plus 2 because that's the pattern. We're adding 2 to find the next term. The problem is asking for the 50th term. That means 50 is our end value. A sub n means we're solving for the 50th term, so a sub 50. Our a sub 1 is 3, plus our n is 50 minus 1, and the common difference is 2. Simplifying this, we write down first 3 plus 50 minus 1 is 49, and then we need to do 49 times 2. Simplifying this further, we have 3 plus 49 times 2 is 98, and 98 plus 3 is 101. So that means that the 50th term is 101. Question number 2. Given the arithmetic sequence 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on, Find the 25th term. Our a sub 1 is the first term, which is 7. And what do you think is the common difference here? The common difference is 3 because the pattern is adding by 3 to find the next term. And you can do that by subtracting 10 minus 7, 13 minus 10, and 16 minus 13. What is our n value? Our n value is... 25 because we were asked to find the 25th term. Again, the formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We are solving for the 25th term, so that is a sub 25. Our a sub 1 is 7 plus n is 25. 25 minus 1 times the common difference is 3. Simplifying this, we have bring down the 7 plus 25 minus 1 is 24, 24 times 3 is 72. So we have 7 plus 72, and that is 79. So the 25th term in this arithmetic sequence is 79. Question number 3. Given the arithmetic sequence negative 17, negative 27, negative 37, negative 47, and so on, find the 22nd term. Our a sub 1 is the first term, or negative 17. What do you think is the common difference d? The common difference here is negative 10, because the pattern is subtracting by 10 to get the next term. And you can do that by subtracting negative 27 minus negative 17, 
or negative 37 minus negative 27. So the pattern is subtracting by 10 to find the next term. Our end value is 22 because we were asked to find this 22nd term. Our arithmetic sequence formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We're solving for the 22nd term, so that is a sub 22. Our a sub 1 is negative 17 plus n is 22 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference of negative 10. Simplifying this, we have negative 17 plus 21 times negative 10. Simplifying this further, we have negative 17 plus negative 210. And negative 210 plus negative 17 is negative 227. That is our 22nd term in this arithmetic sequence. Question number four. Given the arithmetic sequence 7.1, 5.6, 4.1, 2.6, and so on, find the 30th term. From this sequence, our a sub 1 is 7.1, the first term. What do you think is the common difference d? To calculate for d, we subtract 5.6 minus 7.1 and that is negative 2.5. This means the pattern for this arithmetic sequence is subtracting 2.5 from the previous term to find the next term. So our d is negative 2.5. We're solving for the 30th term, so n is 30. The arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We are solving for the 30th term, so that's a sub 30. a sub 1 is 7.1. Our n is 30, so that's 30 minus 1. And the common difference is negative 2.5. Simplifying this, we have 7.1 plus 29 times negative 2.5. And now we need to multiply 29 and negative 2.5, and that is 72.5, negative. So we have negative 72.5, and we will add the 7.1. And adding 7.1 and negative 72.5, the answer is negative 65.4. That is our 30th term. Question number five. Given the arithmetic sequence three halves, two, five halves, three, and so on, find the 40th term. In this sequence, our a sub one is three halves, or 1.5. What is the common difference d? To calculate for d, we need to do two minus three halves, or two minus one and a half. So that is positive one half. That means the pattern here is adding by one half to find the next term. So our d value is one half. We're solving for the n term, so that means our n is 40. Using the arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, we can solve now for the 40th term. So that is a sub 40, our a sub 1 is 3 over 2, plus n is 40 minus 1, times our d is 1 half. Simplifying this, we have 3 over 2 plus 39 times 1 half. And of course, 39 times 1 half is 39 over 2, plus 3 over 2. Adding 3 over 2 plus 39 over 2, we're simply adding the numerators 3 and 39. That's 42. So we have 42 divided by 2. Therefore, our 40th term is 21. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.